Greetings everyone and welcome to part 9 of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. We are still in Wonderland and we are still trying to gather the evidence in order to save Alice. Now we've gathered three so far and we still need to find that one final elusive clue. And yes, I am talking to a flower right now because, well, well, we need to feed him a potion or feed it a potion so that we can grow big. And yeah. And notice that only Sora grows, not Donald, not Goofy. And yeah, you can actually see them if you just walk around this area, so yeah. And yes, I just, uh, well, smashed a stomp on the ground which raised some platforms. And that's going to be important into finding those, uh, well, finding the final clue, that is. Now, as you just saw right here, I knocked this nut down. So that, well, I can shrink back down to normal size. Well, normal and relative to, well, Donald and Goofy, that is, because, um, it's kind of hard to do some platforming when you're big, you know? Alright. And yes, you can whack this tree right here if you want to change the platforming arrangement, but I don't think it's necessary for, like, this part. So, yeah. Yeah. I know it's a shout out to good old Alice in Wonderland in which she had to pretty much drink things and eat things to grow in size at various points throughout the movie. Um, let's see, there was that uh, bizarre room place that she first entered. Um, I think uh, she ate something and grew inside a house that pretty much destroyed a house, I think. No, no I don't think it destroyed a house. I think, uh, uh, well, her arms and legs were coming out. I think that was it. Or maybe she did destroy a house. I can't remember. Yeah, she would drink uh, mysterious potions. She would eat mysterious things. And yeah, <sighs> drug reference. So yeah. Anyway, we are back in the bizarre room and we are on a faucet. And that final clue is just across that gap right there. Though you want to be careful to, uh, well, time your jumps. Or else you'll fall back to the ground. And uh, you're in the way, Donald. Move, Donald. There, <laughs> sorry Donald, but I need that final clue right there. <laughs> and yes, we have gotten all four clues. And the uh, high Cheshire Cat. So yeah, we've gotten all four clues, now give me my reward. But then of course, uh, the good old Cheshire Cat's being all cryptic again. But, um, <laughs> well, let's just say that this little clue right there is actually uh, important coming up, you see, because, um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, folks, by getting all four clues, the Cheshire Cat rewards us with the power of ice. In other words, now we can use blizzard spells. Isn't that fantastic? And once we jump down there, I think it's... I think it'd be a good idea to put our new Blizzard spell to actual use, you see, because... Oh uh, yeah, we got soldiers here, and we got some red Nocturnes. So, uh, let me just test out my new uh, Blizzard spell when I get the chance, and yeah. Now, in addition to just wiping them out, we can also get tech points. So, we can get three experience points when you shoot one thing of, well... <laughs> uh, one thing of Blizzard spell at him. So, yeah. And of course, using Blizzard consumes magic points, but the Red Nocturne being magic heartless in general will drop these clear balls. And these clear balls are essentially your MP balls that can refill your magic, uh, well, energy. So uh, make sure you collect them if you decide to use a lot of magical um, powers throughout this game, okay? And of course, you can use some ethers to refill your um, thing, so um, yeah. Uh, oh, hello there. And if you time your uh, blizzard power just right, you can get more than one Red Nocturne out of the way. Or two, or whatever, however you pronounce that last thing. It's a musical term, you know, folks. Alright. I think that's it. I think the room is secure, so uh, let's move on, shall we? Let's go back to the Queen's Castle. Let's go clear Alice's name. Because I worked so hard to get all those clues, I mean, nothing can go wrong, right? 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 <laughs> of course, it's a good idea to save right here because, well, something can go wrong. And uh, let me put it this way. We have collected all the evidence. We're about to present it to the queen. But the queen, who she's one of those, she's one of those kinds of rulers who 
does not like to be proven wrong, you know? So, um, yeah. <sighs> oh, boy. You know, it kind of reminds me of that one episode of Avatar The Last Airbenders, like, uh, when, uh, let's see, uh, uh, like, they try to get evidence to prove uh, the Avatar's innocence, but then it turns out, well, it's one of those uh, just us kind of things, because it's just us. I think the Queen of Hearts subscribes to that philosophy, don't you think? Anyway, you don't have to collect all the clues in order to, well, get to this point. Um, you can collect as little or none at all, but again, collect all the clues so that you can get the blizzard power because, come on, freezing enemies is, well, important as well as, well as other things we can use blizzard for. Anyway, let's talk to the cards and uh, let's present the evidence. See, we got all this evidence right here. We worked so hard. Nothing can go wrong, right? Right? And then, of course, the Queen of Hearts will present her evidence. And, oh, look. It switched around. So, yeah, folks, we have to guess which one of these boxes is, well, ours, of course. Now, of course, since we got all four clues... We have, a one, we have a 1 in 5 chance of picking the right box, you know, picking a box that contains, like, a Heartless or something. However, there's also a 1 in 5 chance of picking the Queen's Clue, well, evidence, and uh, if we do, well, let's just say that the upcoming event will be, well, a bit more difficult, as it were. <laughs> so, please, let me pick the right one. Let's, let's see what it is. I hope that I pick the right one. I hope I pick the right one. And it's... Oh! You've, you, you've got to be kidding me! You have got to... <laughs> okay, so yeah, folks, I picked <laughs> the Queen's Evidence, which pretty much shows an image of Donald and Goofy. And because of that, <laughs> they are taking out for this upcoming battle. <laughs> which means I have to go through this <laughs> alone. <laughs> But it's not as bad as you think, folks, because, well, I mean, the problem is with this upcoming fight is, well, the cards right here. What we're supposed to do right here is we're supposed to destroy this tower to free Alice from her cage. And uh, these cards can swarm you, they can attack you, and uh, it can get pretty hectic quickly, folks. I'm not going to lie. Now, here's the thing, folks, with this whole uh, card system. Card system. The whole evidence thing right here. Um, now, if you somehow choose one of the evidence uh, boxes that uh, you've gotten throughout your adventure, the Queen of Hearts will be shocked about the appearance of the Heartless for a moment, but then she'll decide, oh, it's a trick, she'll raise the cage with Alice in it, and the cards will attack regardless. Only then, only at that point, you'll have uh, Donald and Goofy with you, so at least they'll take off some of the pressure. But since Donald and Goofy have been fingered, well, they're out of the picture right now, and Sora has to go at oh so long. <sighs> so yeah, folks, well, once we destroy the tower, the fight will be over, and um, actually these cards won't uh, attack us anymore for some reason, because, well, yeah. Yeah, of course, folks, if you're not careful, you could die easily to this section right here. I'm not going to lie right here. These, these cards are relentless, you see. However, you can stun the cards by going after the Queen of Hearts herself. Yes, you can attack the Queen herself. And if you manage to, well stun her or uh, knock her out for a little bit, you can stun the cards as well, allowing you access to the tower so that you can whack it and whack it and whack it until it's destroyed. Although, realistically, folks, I, I probably should use a potion at this point, but, uh, yeah, see, I'm getting pretty low on health, um, but then, uh, th th this section's almost over, and I don't want to waste a potion, you see. Anyway, the card is done, and one, there we go. And see, Donald and Goofy got stuff even though I did, ab well, they did absolutely nothing. I did everything, so, yeah. <laughs> du -du -du. Where is Alice? I, I, du -du. Oh, okay. Okay, they assumed that she got kidnapped um, while they were fighting. Um, you know, it's possible that she might have escaped. 
Has that ever crossed anyone's mind? Um, uh, so yeah, folks, uh, fight over. I got to heal myself, and then, well, we're going to enter the next phase of, well, Wonderland. So yeah, our mission now is to find Alice. Jeez Louise. <laughs> <sighs> now, folks, I'm going to tell you right now, this is actually my second playthrough through Wonderland. I did one earlier on just so that I can get the basic mechanics, and I got to the evidence uh, revealing portion. And, well, it revealed Donald and Goofy. I picked a different box, and it revealed Donald and Goofy, and I was like, Are you serious, game? It's like this game hates me for something. It's like, Ah! Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right. So yeah, folks. Uh, next portion of Wonderland. The Cheshire Cat says there are shadows everywhere, and we need to take them out. Now, uh, you might be wondering, what is this big fat uh, heartless right there? You might be wondering what that is. You see. Well, folks, meet the fat body. The fat body heartless. Well, it definitely lives up to its name. It's fat. And it can use its belly to, well, thrust at your party. And it can also stomp the ground to stun, well, well hurt you, and yeah. Now, of course, uh, the belly is obviously uh, protected. So you have to attack, uh, attack its head and its backside in order to take it out for good. Now, as you just saw right there, it glowed up a little bit and went uh, berserk, as it were. When you manage to get a fat body's health about halfway down, it'll go um, crazy, as it were. It'll start charging towards you with a big old fat belly. So, um, yeah, try and get out of the way. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, give give this thing an ether later. Yeah, at this point, folks, um, I'm still trying to uh, uh, decide which uh, things I should give the flowers because, well... When you give a flowers a, a certain thing, you, you're you rewarded, right? You're given a much better thing in return. So, um, I think it might be a good idea to, you know, help these flowers out every now and then. Especially later on when you get more access to ethers and other goodies. So, yeah. Alright, you might be wondering, what is our destination? Where are we going now? Well, uh, folks, uh, as soon as I clear out these Heartless for some experience, money, and health, um, we're heading towards, well, the Tea Party Garden. You know, that place where we meet the Mad Hatter and the March Hare? So, uh, yeah. We're actually going to see them, in a way. I mean, we're, they're not actually in the game as uh, playable characters, but uh, we'll see them regardless, you know. Because, um... Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be Wonderland without the Mad Hatter, you know? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Hatter. I mean, I know you're recognizable too, but the Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter is one of those um, <laughs> uh, characters that, uh, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we got them all, so yeah. Now, there was actually a rock that was uh, in front of this entrance right here, but as you just saw earlier, the rock was uh, repositioned thanks to the flower. Yeah, Wonderland's weird. I'm, I'm not going to deny it, folks. It is weird. And here they are, the Mad Hatter and the Marsh Hare. And, yeah, that's it, folks. Pictures. They're pretty much pictures. And, yeah. Now, the thing with this room is we can sit in any one of these chairs. Now, depending on which chair that Sora sits in, uh, we get stuff or we fight Heartless. Now, uh, in this case, we get things. And look, you can see that the picture has changed because we are sitting in uh, certain chairs that gives us rewards, you see, because, yeah, it makes them happy, you see. Now, I should warn you, there are only two chairs that you can sit at that can produce Heartless. The pink one that's to, well, the right right there and the giant pink one that's in the center at the edge of the table. So, uh, do not send those uh, chairs if you, unless you want to fight some Heartless, you see. Which I am not. I'm just going to sit in the proper chair so that, well, I can get goodies. You know, money, health, uh, other kind of things, potions and stuff. And to make the Mad Hatter and the March Hare happy, you see. Because, come on, it's a, it's a very merry unbirthday, you know? 
we are celebrating our unbirthdays. Unless it is your actual birthday, you see. In which case, uh, happy birthday or something. A very merry unbirthday to me! Oh boy. Okay. I think I got a couple more chairs to sit at. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, let's see. Oh goody. Oh yay, a potion. How exciting. Don't worry, one more chair and we can move on. And actually, we do need to go through this room because we need to go through that door right there to re-enter the bazaar room from a different area. Oh, well, to a different area, I mean. <laughs> Woo! Now, look at all that hell. Look at all that hell. And yeah, folks, if you want to just get items in the following chairs, and if you want to fight, fight Heartless, sit in all of them. And you can see that, well, the Marsh Hare and the Mad Hatter are pretty much, uh, well, content with our very merry on birthday, you see. So let's go. Let's see. Woo. Uh, hi again, Cheshire Cat, and yeah. This. Now, for those of you who have seen Alice in Wonderland, um, could you picture uh, Sterling Holloway, that's the voice of the Cheshire Cat in the movie, in this scene, I kind of picture a more creepier um, voice in this case. I don't know why. So yeah, first of all, let's clear out this uh, room of Heartless. Because, well, we need to do a certain task, you see. And, well, we are back in the bazaar room. Only now we are on the ceiling. And, uh, yeah, Wonderland's weird. I admit, it, this place is weird. <sighs> I cannot stress enough how weird this place is. So yeah, folks. Uh, as I kill Heartless, I might as well explain where I am. Where I am at in my recording session of this game. Uh, let's just say that. Let's see. At this point, I have reached Monstro, but uh, unfortunately, um, due to well, film, well, film, file corruption, I have to go and re-record that portion of the game. So, yeah, thankfully I have enough footage so that I can do some re-recording here and there if I, uh, well, if the file's corrupted or if I feel like I can do a better job at certain sections. So, yeah, a little behind the scenes here at, at MGU. Um, let's see, other things I need to talk about right now? No? Are the heart, it's all gone? It looks like it. Okay, let's move on, shall we? Now let's get back to what's actually on the screen. All right, the Heartless are gone, and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually light these lamps. Aha! And it causes a flower to bloom. Okay. Okay, I'm trying not to... Bleh. Yeah, we need one more lamp, and then we got we can reveal the shadow. Oh, whoop the freaking do And, yeah. There. Ah, we'll see the shadows soon. They'll they'll be in this room, but somewhere else. The shadows will go after the doorknob too. Huh? Actually, that is a pretty. Uh, <laughs> they will go after the doorknob. Remember that, folks. Remember that. Let's just say that's uh, an important clue for later on. So yeah, folks, we have to light the lamps in order to get access access to the boss of, well. Wonderland, and yeah. Now, of course, uh, by going through the bazaar room in certain areas, we can appear elsewhere on the Queen's, uh, well, in the Queen's castle, so that we can get access to all those chests that, well, we've, uh, <laughs> well, we couldn't get at the time. But now we can because, well, why not, you see? Alright. Alrighty then, so what next? Where to next? It's been a while since I recorded this, so my memory can be a bit faulty. Uh, let's see here. Ah uh, yes, here we are folks. I'm actually going to make Sora grow again, because uh, remember the boulder? Well, we're actually going to push the boulder, and the only way to push it is, well, while we're big, you see. Because bigger means you're stronger and stuff. Pushing it into the... Water, it makes these lily pads grow so that we can get into this more secluded area of, well, <laughs> Wonderland, you see. 
Of course, I need to shrink back down and come on. And notice how the tree is like we when you turn it one way and out when it's when you turn it another way. Um, I Wonderland video game. My brain hurts. <laughs> it's been a long night, folks. <laughs> I still can't go over the fact that two times in a row, I still got Donald and Goofy. Now, ah, uh, and when I got it the second time, folks, when I got it the second time, I was like, screw this, and I was going to go for it anyway. Go for the tower, well, just Sora, because you know how long it takes to just reboot your, um, like, restart game if you screw up? I mean, you have to quit the game, you have to reload the file on your PS3, you have to go through all that loading, and then you have to go to the 1.5 menu, select your proper game, and then wait for all the loading, and uh, it can get a little bit tedious at times, especially when you have to do it over and over and over and over again. <sighs> so, yeah, folks, um, we're going to give this guy a high potion, because why not? Um... Uh, Let's see. Better be something good if I'm going to sacrifice one of my high potions this early in the game. Especially since I don't have enough money. Well, I have money to buy more high potions, but. Uh, yeah. Alright. Alright, Flower, what are you going to give me? Give me something good. And. Yeah, you're welcome, Flower. Ooh, a mega potion! Okay. Well, thank you, Flower. Thank you very much. Now, of course, we have a blue trinity right here, so let's go ahead and activate it right here. Come on. Good. Come on. And... Uh, we got a camping set. Yeah, we get, we're getting all these things, you know, cottages and camping sets and all that sort of thing. And they're used to restore the health of a party, well, you know, if you don't have access to a save point, you see. It gets them back to full health so that... Oh, well, when you confront a boss, uh, you're pretty much prepared, you see, you know? Oh, we got more puppies. Yay! More Dalmatians that are sent home. I'm guessing it's an automatic kind of thing, you know, because, um, you know, <laughs> puppies and puppies are nice and I, I don't mind puppies at all. Anyway, so far, out of the 99, we got six, so, um, progress. <laughs> progress. Ooh! Ooh! White mushrooms! Oh! Oh! Oh, yes, the white mushrooms. <clears throat> yeah, let me explain the white mushrooms right quick. Um, white mushrooms are heartless, but they are not the bad heartless that we've been encountering so far. They're actually good heartless, uh, believe it or not. Now, they will appear in certain rooms of a certain world. Uh, I don't know what triggers it, but I'm guessing it's a random chance or something. Anyway, the white mushrooms will be going around, and they'll do a certain action, you see. Now, depending on the action they do, you are to cast uh, a certain magic spell at them. You, uh, you pretty much uh, cast the right spell at them, you'll be rewarded with some tech points. And if you do it right three times, well, you are rewarded with a certain art, you see. And... Uh, they're just here to test you to make sure that you properly uh, are mastering the uh, spells you get throughout the game because um, getting the arts is important, I'm guessing. I'm, I can't remember what happens when you get all the arts, so uh, yeah. Now here's the thing, folks. Even though you're trying to cast all these spells, they do the action that you do not want a lot. And it can get pretty frustrating because they're only here for a limited amount of time folks and if you miss your chance to well uh, get the certain art and certain drops well well they're not gone for good you can go back and forth uh, between rooms to get them to reappear but they, they can be tedious at times and see look at that look at that I, I had one more spell to cast but then it decided to just ask ah, screw it and leave and once they all leave well that's it, folks. That's pretty much it right there, so... <sighs> but don't worry. I'll get another chance at these guys later on in Wonderland. Alright, folks. I'm going to get uh, something for uh, feeding this flower a certain uh, thing. Come on. Uh, 
Let's see. Ether. I'm going to feed you an ether right quick. Better give me something good. Because I'm sacrificing one of my magic healing things. Alright. And... What are we going to get? Uh, a camping set. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, folks. Uh, we'll explore Wonderland a bit more and get some more goodies in Part 10. And see if we can find any of those elusive shadows. So, uh, see you then.